Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be going over the new Legends. Yes, it took this long for me to see an Andre read up. I haven't been checking. Actually, all I did today was play one solo challenge. That's all I've done on Mutt. I bought one of these. I had 400 points left on my account. You guys saw I bought one of these, and I bought a uh, uh, just a regular pack because uh, I thought 400 points is I'm never going to use. I don't even know how I ended up with 400, but oops, not what I wanted. Let's see here, my auctions. I did pull out of that thing. Uh, let's see here, Curtis Lofton. I pulled the 87 Curtis Lofton out, and then in my single pro pack, I pulled a rising star David Amerson. So I do need to sell that David Amerson still. Um, I believe I do have a couple other elites to sell too, if I'm not mistaken, which sometimes I am. Let's see, no, none of those. Uh, okay, I got. Nope, never mind. I don't have Paul Warlow. I have a Haloti Nada. That's it. All right, I only have one elite to sell, but I do have an elite. I have this Haloti Nada, but uh, I thought I had a, another couple elites, but I was wrong. But let's go over these new legends. Uh, we'll go over Mike Ditka first, and then we'll go to actually we'll go to Andre Reed first, just because just in case. Someone happens to buy him, or the guy removes him. There is only one up. And there he is for 615,000 or 595,000 bid. I do want to pick up this card. Uh, probably will sell my 24 hour Antonio Brown in order to pick him up. Uh, but that still uh, remains to be seen. But that's probably what I would do. And I play Andre Reed at the two and. Uh, Devin Hester at the three, or maybe Andre Reed at the one and Bruce at the two. Who knows? Uh, I'll see what it is uh, when the card drops a lot more than where it's at right now. But let's uh, take a look at his stats. Uh, we'll go depth chart. He gives plus nine to short pass, uh, 93 agility, 93 speed, 94 acceleration, uh, 96 catching, uh, 95 jumping, a 90 juke move and a 91 spin move so he can make some moves out in space 99 stamina that's good 96 spec catch 95 catching traffic and 93 route running uh, 94 release really good so he's a really good wide receiver but in my opinion no wide receiver is really worth 615,000 uh, what is the highest Megatron is the highest base wide receiver at how much Calvin Oops, Calvin Johnson. He is currently 360. So, yeah, 360 is too much. I got my Calvin for, I think, 320, and then I sold him for, like, 400-something. Uh, so, I, I that's this is the only reason I bought Calvin for a while is because I got him for cheap. Could actually bid on this one for 320, but I wouldn't make all that money. I made, like, I make, like, 2K, so it's not even worth it to bid on that one. Uh, but now we're going to go to the Mike Ditka. Let's take a look at this. Um, we'll look at both his card, and then we'll go look at his collection. Mike Dit. I think Mike Dit would be enough. Yep. All right. There are three up, two of the uh, rookie one, and then one of the completed collection. We'll take a look at this rookie one real quick. Uh, 87 catching, 90 catching traffic, 84 route running, uh, 80 release, 80 strength, 68 run block, 76 speed. It's not terrible, but it is 100,000 uh, just for his rookie card. It's almost 500,000 for his legend. He's a 93. We can compare his stats over here to Dave Casper. I don't know what on here makes him go up three overall from Dave Casper. I don't see three release. Two run blocking, four strength, and one awareness equating to uh, four uh, or three extra overall. But we can go into here and you guys can take a look. I'll just point out notable stats for Casper, or not for Casper, for Ditka. Uh, he's got an 86, or, yeah, an 86 acceleration, 73 tackling. So if you throw an interception, he'll make the tackle probably. 84 jumping, 90 trucking. Uh, so that's nice, 90 trucking, 94 stiff arm, uh, 98 injury, 99 stamina, 88 spec catch, 96 catch in traffic, and 87 route running, 88 release. 
So that's Mike Ditka. We'll go take a quick look at his collection. Because uh, he's the collection Andre reads, the one you got to pull out of packs. Uh, let's see. Where's Legends? There they are. Mike Ditka, you can get him long pass or short pass cam. We'll go into the long pass one here. Uh, you obviously need an elite badge like always. You need the Mike Ditka card, the rookie legend. You need the first round pick collectible, Hall of Fame collectible, first tight end in the Hall of Fame collectible, and retired number collectible. So you need to pick up all those in order to get the upgraded 93 overall version. A uh, card I'm definitely in interested in picking up, but uh, not going to pay the price. Uh, for him now, I'll wait until later uh, because I do like Casper. Casper has been a beast for me, and he's my chem, so uh, it just works out. I have 55-man chem if that's not really what it is. I had to switch up my D a little bit just to do that stupid solo because they make you have 55 uh, run or 55-man D chem uh, in order to play the final thing for the Cowboys Saint solo. So let's take a look at these. I think my collectibles contradict. Uh, let's see here. Let me go collectibles elite. And yeah, I picked New Orleans to win uh, for the 2,500 coins. And then I got the Dallas D holding Breeze under 200 yards for 40K. Uh, obviously, I'd rather have Dallas win and get this 40K if they hold Breeze under 200. Because the 2,500 coins means nothing to me. I haven't got one of these right, and it doesn't look like I'll probably get this one right either, because I don't see them holding Breeze to under 200 yards. This should be like 100k coins, because the odds of that happening... This was the closest one I've gotten, is Antonio Brown. He was 10 yards away from 100 yards receiving. Uh, they should have just given it to us. He had two touchdowns and, uh, and 90 yards receiving, but... Uh, that's whatever. It was only 5K. Like, is that really going to hurt their market? Like, I'm, I'm happy to see they upped it this week uh, from, like, the 10K I was getting or this one, whoopee, 25,000. I guess 40K is not really that much, but at least it's something uh, more than what it uh, has been. Also, in reference to tonight's game, if DeMarco Murray has a huge game, like 200 yards, two touchdowns, even like a hundred, a buck fifty and a touchdown and a couple receptions, I'll probably buy a bundle because I'm doing pretty well in uh, a one-week fantasy league on FanDuel. If you guys don't play it, my referral link is in the bottom. It's one-week fan, one week fantasy leagues. They're salary caps. Uh, I really enjoy playing them. Um, I play the most every week. Uh, this week I didn't pay as I didn't bet as much or enter as much. So, um, but this week I had Stafford who got me 26 and a half. Bradshaw uh, who, if he wouldn't have gotten that touchdown, would have been a disappointment. But he got me 12.2, which was good enough. I had Steve Smith and Antonio Brown who both got 29.4 and 0.28 respectively. I had Golden Tate who got me 15 and a half. Gates who is playing right now and who has me four and a half. I need him to, you know, catch a nice pass um, for a touchdown. Maybe like a 40-yard touchdown pass would be really nice. Uh, Nick Novak, uh, he's got me 12 points as the Patriots kicker. Uh, or not the Patriots, <laughs> the, the Chargers kicker. I have the Patriots defense. That's why I made, made me think that. And then I also have DeMarco Murray tonight. Uh, I'm currently winning um, $11 right now, but... There are a bunch of people, you know, that already have all their players uh, done. So they're already ahead of people like me who still have players to go or who are still currently playing. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you all in my next video.